Hi, I'm Beth Reese, founder of Yoginos Yoga for Youth and the uh, movement to transform the world, Flower Power by Five. And I'm here with my dear friend, Jamie Damaris, who, among other things, manager of Damaris Barbecue here in Houston. He is also an awesome dad. And Jamie has just been begging me, okay, maybe not begging me, but we've been talking about Flower Power by Five, and I would love to teach it to you so then you can take it to your kids. How does that sound? It sounds awesome. All right, so we're gonna do it the old school way. So we're gonna reach actually one hand up, because we wanna stretch our side body, and then reach forward and pretend to pick your imaginary flower. And Jamie, what color is your flower? Yellow. That's so great. Let's pretend to smell that flower. Exhale with an ah. Let's do the other hand, stretch up, getting a little extra space in that lung, reach forward. Pick your imaginary flower and breathe in. All right, now pick a bunch of flowers and put them in your pocket. And then later, or uh, you know, if you see me on another day and if I look a little stressed, you can always go into your pocket and hand me that flower so I can practice my flower power breath. Got it. All right. I have a question though. Uh-oh. Yeah. So when I first started practicing yoga, my kids started going with me and they started going to the kids class. And I remember the first day my son was having a meltdown and I told him to breathe through his nose. He immediately started breathing deep through his nose and exhaling through his nose and immediately came out of that space he was in. Awesome. And it was amazing. The next time I tried to get him to do that, he just looked at me and like, he's just screaming. He's like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to breathe. So how do you in the moment hmm. teach it or do you teach it prior to a moment? That's so great. That's such a great question. And um, to really say there are three, three ways to teach flower power breath. So one is just to teach it like I just taught you and then try it in various situations. Um, now you and I both like basketball and I love to reference like Steph Curry and James Harden, like learning how to throw and make those three pointers all the time. They had to learn it. They had to practice it. And they had to practice it under different scenarios, right? So I'm blocking them like this or poking at them like that. So teaching flower power can be the same way. You teach it under normal everyday circumstances. And then you can even like role play, like be like, hey, show me your angry face. And then practice it with your angry face. And then like make a joke how the angry face goes away. So that they build uh, the child, the person, the adult builds kind of a muscle memory. And then when they are maybe in that moment when they're angry, um, you, you really have to know the person. And if you think asking them to breathe is not going to work, instead consider asking them or just really show empathy like, yeah, you're really angry. And then ask them, where do they feel that in their body? And that will pause the brain often just enough to have them be like, hey, let me check in. And then in a few moments, it might be like, you know, I feel like you could say to your son, I feel like I need to do a flower power breath right now. Would you like to do one with me? And don't make it wrong. Like feelings aren't right or wrong. They just are. And just the important thing is even like for you to do the flower power breath when they're angry or throwing chairs at you in the airport, like Jordan used to do to me, to help you as the parent stay calm. They'll see that and then they'll start to pick up on it. But the more you practice it, the more it can become a muscle memory from when you are angry. And then, Jamie, if you look behind you, there's a little space here in the oh, Amazing Way studio. That is kind of like, uh, that's, that's my space where I meditate every day. And what I often advise for parents and teachers is to create a peace place, even just like a table or something with something that your kiddos might respond to either a flower or maybe a glitter jar, a place where they can go and practice. That's like their practice court and practice these skills so they can take them out into the, into the big game of life. Got it. Awesome. I like that. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming by. All right. You practice flower power. Let us know how it goes and we will see you next time.